African DNA stands as a testament to the rich and complex history of human evolution, offering unparalleled insights into our species' origins, adaptations, and health. Its remarkable nature is rooted in the continent's role as the cradle of humanity, where modern humans first emerged over 200,000 years ago. This extended period of habitation has endowed African populations with the highest levels of genetic diversity observed globally, a diversity that not only reflects the deep evolutionary history of our species, but also holds critical implications for understanding human health and disease. The study of African DNA reveals unique genetic adaptations shaped by diverse environments, such as the sickle cell trait, its protection against malaria and lactase persistence, its role in dairy digestion among pastoralist groups. Moreover, recent discoveries of archaic hominin DNA within African genomes add an unexpected layer of complexity to our evolutionary narrative, challenging previous assumptions about human ancestry. Despite its significance, African genetic diversity remains underrepresented in global genomic research, limiting the potential for precision medicine to benefit populations of African descent. This exploration delves into the multifaceted reasons why African DNA is so remarkable, drawing from cutting-edge research and scholarly articles to provide a comprehensive overview of its evolutionary adaptive and health-related significance presented in a formal and academic tone, suitable for both general and scientifically inclined audiences. The genetic diversity found within African populations is unparalleled, a direct consequence of Africa's status as the birthplace of modern humans. Studies have consistently demonstrated that Africans exhibit higher levels of nucleotide and haplotype diversity compared to non-African populations, a finding that underscores the continent's foundational role in human evolution. Research has shown that African populations possess a greater number of rare single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, with approximately 64% of SNPs being rare, 36% common, and 44% private to African Americans, reflecting the extensive genetic variation present within the continent. This diversity is further evidenced by the identification of 14 genetically distinct ancestral population clusters across 121 ethnically diverse African groups, a structure shaped by historical migrations such as the Bantu expansion and a variety of environmental pressures over millennia. Additionally, African populations exhibit lower linkage disequilibrium, LD, characterized by shorter haplotype blocks and more recombination hotspots, in stark contrast to the higher LD observed in non-African populations. This lower LD is indicative of a larger effective population size estimated at approximately 15,000 for Africans compared to 7,500 for non-Africans, suggesting that African populations have maintained greater genetic variability over time. Such diversity is not merely a genetic curiosity. It serves as a critical window into the evolutionary processes that have shaped humanity, providing invaluable insights into how populations adapt to their environments and how these adaptations have influenced the global human gene pool. Beyond its sheer diversity, African DNA is distinguished by unique genetic adaptations that have evolved in response to the continent's varied climates, diets and disease challenges. One of the most well-documented adaptations is the sickle cell trait, which confers resistance to Plasmodium falciparum malaria, a deadly parasitic disease endemic to much of sub-Saharan Africa. Individuals carrying one copy of the sickle cell gene, known as the AS genotype, are less susceptible to severe malaria, a protective mechanism first proposed in the late 1940s and subsequently validated by extensive field studies across the continent. This adaptation is particularly prevalent in regions where malaria is a persistent threat, with up to 10% of African Americans carrying the trait, a legacy of their ancestral origins in malaria endemic zones. Another striking adaptation is lactase persistence, the ability to digest lactose into adulthood, which has emerged independently in several African populations linked to pastoralist lifestyles. Unlike European populations, where lactase persistence is primarily associated with the T13910 variant, African groups exhibit distinct genetic variants, such as C14210, G13915, and G13907, 
each tied to specific pastoralist communities. For instance, the C1410 variant is found in approximately 50% of Fulani individuals, a group with a long history of dairy consumption, while similar patterns are observed among the Beja and other pastoralist populations. These adaptations exemplify gene culture co-evolution, where genetic changes align closely with cultural practices and environmental demands, such as the spread of pastoralism across Africa. The presence of such adaptations highlights the ingenuity of natural selection and underscores the importance of studying African genomes to fully appreciate the breadth of human genetic variation and its adaptive significance. Adding further intrigue to the study of African DNA is the recent discovery of archaic hominin DNA within the genomes of modern African populations, a finding that reshapes our understanding of human evolutionary history. Research indicates that West African populations, including the Yoruba Esan Mende and Gambian, carry between 2% and 19% of their genetic ancestry from an unknown archaic hominin species, one that likely diverged from the lineage leading to modern humans and Neanderthals approximately 700,000 years ago. This evidence of archaic admixture suggests that interbreeding events occurred within Africa, mirroring the well-documented introgression of Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA into non-African populations. The presence of this ghost archaic DNA challenges earlier assumptions that archaic introgression was largely a phenomenon restricted to populations outside of Africa, revealing instead a more intricate web of interactions between early human populations and other hominin species within the continent. The identity of this archaic hominin remains unknown, necessitating further investigation to pinpoint its origins and understand the functional implications of this genetic legacy. This discovery not only enriches our comprehension of human ancestry, but also emphasizes the unique genetic heritage preserved within African populations, offering a deeper perspective on the complexity of our evolutionary past and the diverse lineages that have contributed to the modern human genome. The remarkable features of African DNA extend beyond evolutionary biology to hold profound implications for human health, particularly in the realm of precision medicine, where understanding genetic variation is key to tailoring medical treatments. Despite its critical importance, African populations remain significantly underrepresented in global genomic research, with the majority of studies historically focusing on individuals of European ancestry. This imbalance limits our understanding of disease susceptibility, drug responses, and health outcomes in African populations, perpetuating health inequities that disproportionately affect people of African descent. For example, hypertension is notably more prevalent among African Americans, yet the genetic factors contributing to this disparity remain poorly understood due to the lack of comprehensive studies. Initiatives like the African Genome Variation Project which analyzed the genomes of 1,481 individuals from 18 ethno-linguistic groups across the continent, represent a vital step toward addressing this gap. This project has identified novel loci under selection, including those associated with malaria susceptibility and hypertension, providing a valuable resource for designing targeted health interventions. Moreover, Large-scale genomic studies are urgently needed to characterize disease-causing variants, particularly for non-communicable diseases such as diabetes and obesity, which are rising in prevalence across Africa. By expanding the scope of genomic research to include more African populations, scientists can unlock new insights into disease mechanisms, enhance the efficacy of precision medicine, and improve healthcare outcomes for individuals of African descent ensuring that the benefits of modern medicine are equitably distributed across diverse populations. The significance of African DNA is further amplified when considering its broader implications for humanity as a whole, as it offers a lens through which to view both our shared origins and the unique trajectories of human populations. The high genetic diversity observed in African populations is a direct reflection of the continent's long history as the epicenter of human evolution a history that has produced a mosaic of genetic adaptations tailored to specific environmental and cultural contexts. The sickle cell trait, for instance, stands as a powerful example of how genetic variation can confer survival advantages in the face of deadly diseases, 
while lactase persistence illustrates the dynamic interplay between genetics and cultural practices like pastoralism. The discovery of archaic hominin DNA within African genomes adds yet another layer of depth, suggesting that the evolutionary story of modern humans is far more complex than previously imagined, with multiple hominin lineages contributing to our genetic makeup. These findings challenge simplistic narratives of human evolution and highlight the need for a more nuanced understanding of our ancestry, one that fully incorporates the genetic richness of African populations. At the same time, the underrepresentation of African DNA in genomic research represents a missed opportunity to advance human health globally as the insights derived from these genomes could inform treatments and interventions that benefit all populations, not just those of African descent. To fully appreciate the remarkable nature of African DNA, it is essential to consider the historical and environmental factors that have shaped its diversity and adaptability over hundreds of thousands of years. The continent's vast geographical expanse, encompassing deserts, rainforests, savannas and highlands, has created a multitude of ecological niches, each exerting distinct selective pressures on human populations. The Bantu expansion, a major migratory event that began around 3,000 years ago, further contributed to this diversity by spreading agricultural practices and genetic lineages across sub-Saharan Africa, resulting in the complex population structure observed today. This structure is characterized by a patchwork of genetically distinct groups, each with its own unique adaptations and evolutionary history, yet all sharing a common origin in the emergence of Homo sapiens on the African continent. The lower linkage disequilibrium observed in African populations, with its shorter haplotype blocks and frequent recombination, reflects this deep history of genetic mixing and adaptation, contrasting with the more uniform genetic profiles of non-African populations that emerged from a smaller founding population during the out-of-Africa migration. This genetic complexity is a treasure trove for researchers, offering clues to the evolutionary forces that have sculpted the human genome and the adaptive strategies that have enabled our species to thrive in diverse environments. The study of African DNA also sheds light on the broader dynamics of human evolution, revealing how genetic diversity has been both a driver and a product of our species' success. The higher nucleotide and haplotype diversity in African populations is a testament to the long evolutionary timeline of human habitation on the continent, during which genetic mutations accumulated and natural selection acted upon them to produce the variations we see today. These variations, such as the sickle cell trait and lactase persistence, are not random. They are finely tuned responses to specific challenges, whether infectious diseases like malaria or dietary shifts associated with pastoralism. The presence of archaic hominin DNA further complicates this picture, suggesting that interbreeding with other hominin species may have introduced additional genetic material that influenced the trajectory of modern human evolution. This introgression could have provided adaptive advantages, much like Neanderthal DNA is thought to have contributed to immunity, and skin pigmentation in non-African populations, though the specific contributions of this African archaic DNA remain a subject of ongoing research. Together, these elements paint a picture of African DNA as a dynamic and multifaceted entity, one that encapsulates the full spectrum of human evolutionary history and holds the potential to unlock new discoveries about our past and present. In the realm of human health, the implications of African DNA extend far beyond the continent, offering insights that could transform medical research and practice worldwide. The underrepresentation of African populations in genomic studies has created a knowledge gap that hinders our ability to understand the full range of genetic factors influencing disease and treatment outcomes. For instance, while the sickle cell trait is well studied, other genetic variants unique to African populations, such as those identified in the African Genome Variation Project, remain underexplored despite their potential relevance to conditions like hypertension, diabetes and obesity. These conditions are not only major public health challenges in Africa, but also affect diaspora populations globally, making the need for inclusive genomic research all the more pressing. By integrating African DNA into large-scale genomic databases, 
researchers can identify novel disease-causing variants, refine drug development processes, and ensure that precision medicine accounts for the genetic diversity of all human populations. This approach would not only address health disparities, but also enhance the overall accuracy and efficacy of medical interventions, as treatments informed by a broader genetic baseline are likely to be more universally applicable. The remarkable nature of African DNA is perhaps most evident in its ability to bridge the past and the future, connecting our evolutionary origins to the challenges and opportunities of modern science. The genetic diversity that defines African populations is a living record of humanity's journey, preserving the traces of ancient migrations, environmental adaptations, and interactions with other hominin species. At the same time, this diversity holds the key to addressing contemporary issues, from improving health equity to deepening our understanding of human biology. The sickle cell trait and lactase persistence are just two examples of how African DNA reflects the interplay of genetics and environment, while the discovery of archaic hominin DNA underscores the complexity of our ancestry and the need for continued exploration. Yet, despite these insights, the full potential of African DNA remains untapped, constrained by the limited scope of current genomic research. Closing this gap requires a concerted effort to prioritize African populations in scientific studies, ensuring that their genetic heritage is not only recognized, but also leveraged to benefit humanity as a whole. In conclusion, African DNA is remarkable for its unparalleled genetic diversity, unique adaptations, and the presence of archaic hominin DNA, all of which reflect the continent's pivotal role in human evolution. This diversity provides a window into our species' origins and adaptive history, revealing the intricate processes that have shaped humanity over hundreds of thousands of years. The sickle cell trait and lactase persistence highlight the power of natural selection to craft solutions to environmental challenges, while the discovery of archaic DNA challenges us to rethink our evolutionary narrative. Beyond its scientific value, African DNA holds critical potential for advancing human health through precision medicine, yet its underrepresentation in research underscores the need for greater inclusivity. By addressing this disparity, we can ensure that the benefits of genomic medicine reach all populations, improving health outcomes for individuals of African descent and enriching our collective understanding of human biology. The study of African DNA is not just a scientific endeavor, it is a vital step toward a more comprehensive and equitable appreciation of what it means to be human, honoring the continent where our story began, and the genetic legacy that continues to shape our future. If you like the video, please subscribe for more exciting videos like this. Thank you and have a nice day.